Hey, what's up guys? It's Marquez from the MKBHD channel, and today we're going to be taking a look at the most important and the most impressive feature of the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, and that is the display. The screen is a stunner. Uh, it's what you use every time you use a phone. This phone's rocking a 4.65 inch 1280 by 720 Super AMOLED HD display. Now, I actually already did a video by itself on why AMOLED displays are amazing, so if you want to check that out, that's the annotation right there. So basically, in everyday use, the screen really spoils you. Uh, if you get used to the screen, it's hard to go back to something like a tablet with a screen that's less sharp or less vibrant or less responsive. Now, here's something cool to note about this screen. You've probably noticed I'm using some dark apps and I'm using a black background. Every time that an OLED display has to display something black, it just doesn't light up the pixels at all. So as you can see here, this is my little OLED display test where you can't even tell that the screen is on unless there are colors on it. If it's black, it looks like the display is off. So everything, every time you see a black notification bar or the black bottom of the display, everything that's black is saving battery. So this is definitely a, a really cool feature and a handy tip if you want to get a couple extra minutes out of your phone battery. Now gaming is a whole new world on the Galaxy Nexus. Using the, the 1280 by 720 display kind of shrinks down things to look like they're on a tablet because that's a tablet size resolution. So like Angry Birds here kind of looks a little bit tiny. You have to zoom in to play well. Uh, but games that uh, work with a high resolution look absurdly good. I mean, it's really sharp, colors pop, and it's a breeze, a joy to use. But the killer here, the absolute jaw dropper, is watching media. Even watching a simple high quality YouTube video or a movie trailer or just a good looking video on YouTube, when it fills up to the full screen, which is what it does when you're watching video, it looks amazing. It's full 1280 by 720, very sharp, very accurate, colors pop. It's like having a movie in the palm of your hand. This is a, by, by itself could be a reason to want the Galaxy Nexus. Forget ice cream sandwich. This movie consuming experience, the media consumption, is just jaw dropping, and I absolutely love it. Having that huge, amazing screen is also perfect for typing. Uh, the ice cream sandwich keyboard is great, and coming from a phone with a physical keyboard, it's only been about a day, and I've already gotten used to it, so clearly they've done something right. The screen and the keyboard combo is really damn nice. Also, in landscape mode, there is a huge keyboard. Uh, so as you can see by my ramblings, it's pretty easy to type and correction is good. Don't make a lot of mistakes uh, And it looks good. I think it's really good looking looks like I continue to like my phone how I like woman <laughs> But overall, uh, yeah, th this is the best screen I have ever used and you can argue that the HTC resound or the iPhone 4 and 4s or some other phones might have better quality displays and I say just Throw AMOLED in there. Throw an OLED display in there with pitch black blacks, and uh, you got yourself a hell of a screen. I gotta say, I am uh, very, very satisfied with the display. Again, if you'd like to see any other parts of the Galaxy Nexus highlighted before my full review, which will likely come after I've really thoroughly tested the phone, let me know. Uh, but this is just uh, the whole screen experience. So I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, give me a thumbs up if you feel awesome. Uh, either way, this has been MKBHD. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.